Hello YouTube and welcome to my first video which involves how to hack a wireless access point with a hidden SSID, MAC address filtering and WPA2 encryption. Uh, a list of what's required for this tutorial and I will be using Backtrack 5 R2. I uh, just want to stress that this tutorial was completed in a test environment and I take no responsibility for your actions and I believe hacking should only be used to educate others on uh, how they are vulnerable. Uh, so this video was made per request of my mate JW. So let's start. To find a hidden SSID, we need to start our wireless LAN interface. So we can do that by specifying Ammon NG start wireless LAN 0. And as you can see, it has started my card in monitor mode, specified by Mon0. Uh, because I already had one open, uh, it has pretty much started one called Mon1. So now if we do an arrow dump NG, this will scan for any wireless networks. So it has actually already found our uh, access points ESS ID, but sometimes we won't be that lucky. So I'm going to continue with showing you how to find an SS ID if Backtrack is unable to uh, find that for you. So first we need to uh, acquire the BSS ID of the access point that we intend to find its ESS ID. So as seen, mine 6A21B774171. And it is currently using uh, channel 12. So that can be used to uh, home in on the access point. So next we want to open Wireshark, which is pretty much a packet analysis program. And we want to specify our interface. And as you can see, you can now see that uh, all packets uh, that are moving towards our access point are displayed. So if we use the filter wireless LAN dot BSSID is equal to and then our BSS ID of our access point, which I have specified. So if we copy and paste that, and now we will only see traffic from our given access point. As you can see, uh, our SS ID is uh, being displayed because I am currently connected to the access point. But uh, as you can see, it is not being display displayed in the uh, other packets. So what we would normally do would be to uh, use Airy Play NG with a dash zero, which is a deauthenticate switch to send a de-authenticate packet and the number one is pretty much just send one packet. You want to use the dash A switch to specify our BSS ID. And we want to use a dash C switch and this will be used to specify the MAC address of our station.
So this might take a minute. And what this is doing is it's kicking the specified station from the network. And what we want that station to do is to automatically reconnect, which is a built-in feature of uh, wireless technologies. And what that will do is it will uh, request access to the access point. And it will send somewhere in the packets the SSID. And then also after the command we need to specify the interface. And now as you can see, up top when it was forced to reconnect it released the SSID for the access point. Okay, so to bypass MAC address filtering What we want to do is we want to get the uh, MAC address of the station that we uh, intend on uh, MAC spoofing. Which now needs to reconnect to the network after I kicked it. So there we go, that's our station. We want to grab its uh, MAC address and pretty much uh, uh, replace our own address with the specified MAC. So if we kick that station off the network, because if there is two uh, uh, wireless cards that are trying to connect with your access points. Uh, the router, uh, best way to describe it is to uh, say it'll say that it'll uh, see something funny, and it won't let either connect to your access point. So next, we need to stop our interfaces, which is our. Uh, Wireless LAN 0, a, our MON 0, and if you have one like I do, our MON 0 1. So we can do that with the AMON NG stop MON 1, AMON NG stop MON 0, and AMON NG stop wireless LAN 0. So now if we do an AMON NG, you'll just see the one interface. And now we want to use Mac Changer to spoof our client's address. So we do a Mac Changer with the dash M switch. And pretty much this just shows, um, this allows the input of the client's Mac address that we intend on copying. And then we need to specify our interface that's going to receive this address. Okay, uh, because I already done this earlier, you'll see that the MAC address is the same.
but it'll actually say the current Mac of your interface and then the Mac that you did fake. <coughs> Okay, next we need to start our interfaces back up. Okay, so as you can see, we now have our wireless LAN 0 and our monitor mode 0 back up. And by spoofing the client's MAC address, you will be permitted access to uh, the access point without having to worry about MAC filters. And just remember that the client does need to be kicked from the network, or when you try to connect to the access point, it will not permit you. <coughs> Next, we're going to get around to 